Um, when a tipster gives information, the last thing that the tele operator does is assign a special identification code which the tipster needs to keep confidential. Right. Um, now, it's one way communication by the phone system. So, if the tipster has more information to add to the file, they will call that 1 800 8477 and identify themselves by that code. So, once they give the tele operator that code, the tele operator pulls up the file and adds the new information. Right. Now, if an arrest or a seizure information is, is really useful, um, but the police will, the investigating officer will, like out in the field, will communicate that back to our police coordinator here in Barbados. Our police coordinator will update that tipster file, basically saying that this tipster's information is useful, it led to an arrest. Um, the police coordinator will give a recommendation to the board of Gangstoppers as to the quantum that should be paid for this piece of information. So let's say um, a particular tipster qualifies for $500. The coordinator will put that into the system that this particular tipster is eligible for a $500 reward payment. <coughs> when the tipster calls back into the call center, and identifies himself or herself by that code, the teleoperator will say, well, so you're eligible for a reward payment. Which branch of Scotia Bank in Barbados do you want to collect that reward payment? So the person might say they would wish to collect it in Broad Street. When that information is communicated back to the crime stopper secretariat here in Barbados, that tipster XYZ wants to collect his payment at Broad Street. Our secretariat then informs the manager of the Broad Street branch to expect tipster XYZ and pay that tipster $500 from our account. Now all accounts are held in Scotia Bank. So just a deduction of cash from our account that, that will be made. The, the manager will, will deduct $500 from the account, cash, when the tipster goes into Scotia Bank, he will go immediately to if, if he if he goes to the receptionist, he would say he's here on a crime stoppers matter. It will be immediately direct. It will be directed to the um, manager of the branch, and the manager will pay the tipster the five hundred dollars in cash. There's no signature. There's no ID required. All the tipster needs to, to give is the tipster number X Y Z. So the only match, the only information that the manager has is expect tipster XYZ and pay this tipster 500 in cash. So it may be you, right? It may be you. And you may know Stephen Smith in Scotia Bank. But all he knows is that this person uh, provided a tip to Graham Stoppers and he's paid 500 dollars. He has no idea as to what he might have reported on. It could have been a murder 10 years ago, it could have been last week's shooting. He has no idea. All, so yes, there is a face-to-face -face contact, but he has no information as to what you might have reported. It has been in place here in Barbados <coughs> since 2009 and never been compromised. It's in place in many jurisdictions throughout the Prime Stoppers world and never been compromised, even in societies smaller than ourselves. Initial reports suggest that approximately 500 delegates will be attending this conference. 250 of which are to be expected from Canada and 150 from the United States. This thereby presents a great opportunity to promote Barbados and assist in our tourism trust. Further, given the dynamism of our program, Crime Stoppers Barbados expects to be acknowledged on several fronts on the international stage. Such acknowledgement will help further propel our growth as well as help position Barbados as a safe destination that has effective measures in place to address issues of crime and criminal activity. Not everyone who has qualified for a reward payment um, has in fact collected the reward payment um, for whatever reason. And that is something that is it's a trend that we see worldwide, not just here in Barbados, 
that people just want to give the information. Um, they're not really interested so much in the money per se, but they could have given the information when the useful information um, that the police could have, uh, would have used. They're eligible for a reward, but they were never interested in the reward in the first place. Um, I really don't have the figures, but it's, it's, it's in the thousands. The last time I checked, I think it was over 15,000 or so. We might have paid out. The purpose of Crime Service Barbados is to act as a conduit through which crime and lawless acts may be discouraged and where committed solved through timely intervention by the members of the Royal Barbados Police Force. We believe that a timely intervention by the police may be aided by information gathered that can assist with our collective remit to ensure that justice is done to safeguard the constitutional rights and privileges of residents of this country. Those persons who call our 1-800-8477 number and report matters of concern and continue to demonstrate a willingness to act, to preserve, and to create an environment of safety and security for our citizens and visitors to this beautiful country, I salute you. So we work with industry partners to make that direct input. Crime Stoppers Barbados is uh, one of those uh, industry partners and, and uh, that we are quite happy to work with. Um, obviously, uh, crime, sorry, obviously uh, safety and security is uh, absolutely important uh, to our tourism product, but um, it's uh, generally important just to Barbados as well. well we must start our planning way in advance. We must have start have a planning committee from now. We will be focused on, on these activities on the website. We must have an area where you as soon as you register, you, you can see a list of activities that can you can that persons can do in Barbados as well so that they can so that they are aware of what they can do and therefore if my office said, okay, instead of spending four or five days in Barbados for the conference, we are going to spend an additional three or four days, whether it be pre-conference or post-conference. And that was a, a, a very successful area that we did for Furamic. And we are hoping that we can have this blueprint as well for the, this upcoming I've been working with Crime Stoppers Barbados for many months plan and to secure this event for September 2013. We work tirelessly all year round to bring events of this nature to Barbados and this was indeed a pleasure to work with Crime Stoppers Barbados and it was a real team effort. We are delighted to be chosen as the host hotel for the Crime Stoppers International Training Conference for September 2013. Um, international high profile conference delegates from many countries across the world will visit Barbados and many for the first time. I'm sure that many of them will return and many of them will refer um, you know, family, friends, colleagues to Barbados as a destination for many years to come. So the true value of an event of this nature coming to Barbados is really impossible to calculate. Um, as I say, extended stays and referrals are very likely.